it's Katie, and welcome back to my channel. I'm coming up to you with my May TBR, and I'm pretty sure I, <sighs> I'm putting a lot on my plate for the month of April. I mean, the month of May, April's been a busy month, um, which I will talk to you all about during my April wrap up. Uh, so, for the month of May, I have a total of 15 books on my TBR. That's right. 15. Um, I currently have... So, there, I'm missing one, two, three, four books. So, I'm missing four books that are on my TBR, but I do not have yet. Those books happen to be Finale by Stephanie Garber, Nexus by Lindsay Cummings and Sasha Altberg, um, a Descendant of Crane, I don't remember the author on top of my head, and then The Red Scrolls of Magic by Cassandra Clare and Wesley Chu. Um, I'll be getting a Descendant of the Crane and a Red Scrolls of Magic later, um, pretty soon. Um, I will put those two books I get into, uh, a book haul. Um, so th those should be coming. Uh, Finale and Nexus don't come out until early... May, and I'm filming this towards the end of April, so I don't have them yet. Um, I'm going to start mentioning the books I'm going to be reading in the month of May. <sighs> so the first book I have on my TBR for May is Defy Me by Tahir Mafi. So this is the fifth book in the Shadow Me series. In April I read Restore Me, and I loved it. So I'm I'm excited to read Define Me. It happens to be the smallest book. I think... How many pages? I don't know how many pages, but, uh... I definitely love it, and it looks beautiful. The cover is beautiful. <sighs> excited to read the fifth book in the Shadow Me series. And the next book I have, I've heard so much about, and that is A Curse So Darkly... A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kremer. Um, I've read so much about this book. Um, I'm excited to read it. It has the female main character actually has cerebral palsy, which is a disability that's affecting all, the, all over the world. Um, so I'm excited to see how the author wrote that and how sh the story is different. So I'm excited to read this. And it's a beauty of the mystery telling, so... I'm excited to read it. Um, and earlier this year, I started rereading um, two Rick Riordan series. This is one of them, and that happens to be Percy Jackson. And so, for the month of May, I'll be reading the Titans first. Um, I've been slowly rereading the Percy Jackson series, so my next book happens to be like, the Titans Curse. Hey guys, uh, so the next book after the Titans Curse that I'm going to be reading. For the month of May, happens to be The Throne of Fire, which is book two in the King Chronicles. I'm also do doing the reread of the King Chronicles, so I'm excited to read book two again. <sighs> the next book uh, by TBR happens to be the last book in the series that I did not think I'd ever get to, and I'm sad. And nervous about what's going to happen in this book, and that happens to be Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J. Moss. Um, I found the series a year ago, and it took me about a year to read the Thunder God series. I'm not ready for it to be done, I'm not ready for the series to be over, but I'm kind of excited to see how this story is going to end. So. I'll be reading Kingdom of Ash in the month of May, and I will be doing um, a reading vlog. I'll be doing two reading vlogs for Kingdom of Ash. I'll be doing one that's spoiler, that has spoilers in it, and then I'll be doing one that does not have spoilers. So it'll be spoiler free. <sighs> so the next book I have is actually my classic for the month. And I decided after reading the Lord of the Rings trilogy for the past four months, I'm going to do something different. So I'll be reading A Midsummer's Night Dream by William Shakespeare. It happens to be 
one of my favorite Shakespeare stories, so I'm kind of really excited to pick up Shakespeare again and read A Midsummer's Night Dream, which is nice because it's springs last summer when I'm reading it. Uh, so I mentioned in the beginning that um, there I had about four books that I didn't have yet, and one of them happens to be Finale by Stephanie Garber. So it comes out May 7th. Um, that's when my Barnes & Noble edition ships out. Um, and so I kind of wanted to do a reread of the series. Funny story, I read Legendary in the month of April, and I'm picking it up again in May. Because I wanted to read, reread the series before Finale came out. So the next book I'll be picking up, and I'll be doing, I'm actually going to be doing vlogs for all three books. I'm going to have a spo spoiler version, and then I'm going to have one that is spoiler free. So, the first book I'll be rereading happens to be Carvel by Sandy Garber. Um, I read this book in a day. One whole day. Um, so I am I'm kind of excited to see what's going to happen when I reread this and how long it'll take me to reread. Um, but I'm excited to go back to reread this before finale comes out because I'm enjoying the series. So I'll be picking up Carvel. And after Carvel, I'm going to be picking up Legendary by Stephanie Garber. It's book two. Um, well, I read this just recently. I read it, like, two weeks ago when I'm shooting this, and uh, I have so many feels, so I'm kind of excited to go back and reread this and vlog my experience reading this, so, and it'll get me ready for finale. Um... My April TBR is there. Uh, so after reading Legendary, I'll probably read Finale. Um, and then after Finale, another series that I'm ending. I have multiples. I forgot I had this one. That happens to be Ruin and Rising by Lee Bardugo. Um, I picked up the Grishaverse in March. I, I picked up Shadow and Bone after I read Six of Crows in February. Uh, I just, I wanted to pick up Reared Rising, um, because I had to find out what happens, and I plan to get, um, King of Scars, which is the Nikolai duology, I believe. Um, I'm really getting to Libra Dugo's writing, which makes me excited to read Moon Rising, and I've heard everyone's had mixed feelings about this book. And I've listened to those thoughts. Again, it's my own point of view. Um, I don't know if I'm going to vlog my reaction to reading Moon and Rising. I might, but we'll see. Um, I'm not ready for that series then. So the next one I have is uh, book three of another, it's another Sarah J. Moss book. And that is A Court of Wings and Ruin. I am actually in the middle of A Core of Mr. Fury right now. I'm like 224 pages in. Duh! So many thoughts and feelings. Um, and I'm loving this series so far. Uh, Freya is my favorite. I'm slowly coming along towards Rysand. Uh, again, saying coming through, we don't know if I'll like him or not. I'll let you know during my April wrap-up of what I think of Rice Head after A Court of Mist and Fury, but uh, I'm also going to be getting Nexus, which is the sequel to Zenith by Sasha Osberg and Lindsay Cummings. I actually plan to go to their book signing that they're having in Connecticut, uh, so that's when I'll buy my copy of Nexus. Uh, I am very excited to read Nexus. Uh, I read Schools of Magic, which is the stories based on Magnus and Alec. I'm excited to read it. Um, I plan to do a vlog on it. I think I'll do a spoiler-free free vlog 
they all have spoilers. I, I don't know yet. I'll let you know when I get the book. Uh, so I'm excited to get that. Uh, A Descent of Crane is the Books with Friends book pick of the month for May. So I'm excited to read that. Um, what else? And so the last book I have, number 15, is another Rick Riordan book. And I fly through Rick Riordan books, so I'm not afraid of, of this book. Um, and that happens to be Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, book two, The Hammer of Thor. Um, I read book one a while ago, and I loved it. Uh, I'm enjoying the Magnus Chase series, uh, so far. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to read Magnus Chase, book two, Hammer of Thor. Uh, I do have a lot of books <laughs> for the month of May, but I'm willing to take the risk in reading these books. I read 12 books. I'm going to be reading 12 books in the month of April, so we'll see how 15 does. But thank you for joining me today. Um, my April wrap-up will be coming soon. Again, the month is not over yet, and I still have two books that I have to finish that I'm like... I'm I'm in the middle of both of those books up currently, but, um, a book haul is coming, which I'm very excited for, um, I'm waiting in for, I'm waiting for an order from Book Outlet, which I did for the first time ever, and I'm excited, so, um, yeah, so, I hope you guys have a happy reading. Awesome, this is the day before Easter, so happy Easter for everyone who celebrates. If you don't, have a happy Sunday, and I hope you guys have a happy reading. Peace, guys.